Uh, since this is the World Congress of Endoscopic Surgery, we invited a two Japanese professor to cover up these uh, topics. The first Japanese speaker and third entire is Professor Go Wakabayashi from Iwate, Japan. He is very specialized in liver surgery and covers up the complication of liver surgery. I'd like to thank the uh, organizing committee of this society and I'd like to also thank Dr. Yamamoto and the co-chair. Um, <clears throat> bleeding control is an essential element for this procedure. I'm in charge for the laparoscopic liver section. I'm going to talk about uh, radiofrequency precoagulation, and also I'm going to talk about the original procedure, which is called hybrid technique. I have nothing to disclose. Uh, there are many uh, energy devices, and ranging from uh, cool tips, biclamps, and steel ligature bipolar forceps and tissue links. Uh, these are uh, radio frequency precoagulation devices. Even though we say precoagulation, but sometimes this is used simultaneously while we dissect the liver. Parenchymal transection is the most important uh, procedure for laparoscopic liver section. For surface parenchyma, we can use uh, ultrasonic coagulators. For deeper parenchyma, we better use uh, ultrasonic uh, tissue dissector along with uh, radio frequency precoagulation devices. Uh, this is a typical example for a partial resection of segment six. I don't see many people having lunch. Could you please turn on the light a little bit? Uh, this is a 91-year-old male, and simultaneous corrector meds. It's a solitary located on segment six, so we decided to perform a laparoscopic partial resection of segment six. Light on, please. Turn light. Okay, thank you. So intraoperative. Um, sorry about that. Okay, next case. Uh, let, let me go back. Could you please start the video? Okay, sorry about this. So uh, this liver metastasis is size about seven centimeter, but uh, which can be performed, uh, resected by laparoscopically. And the mobilization of the uh, Right side of liver is very much important. So you always mobilize the planned resection liver. And also intraoperative ultron sonography is very much important to identify uh, what kind of vessels or interparenchymal structures are uh, uh, along the resection line. Then we start use uh, bipolar coagulator and also monopolar uh, sealant and also ultrasonic coagulator for the surface parenchymal transection. Also, this is very much important. After full mobilization of the right side of the liver, you can hang up the liver by placing this uh, forceps. And precise identification of uh, intrahepatic uh, structures are also very much uh, important to uh, reduce the bleeding and stapler can be applied for parenchymal transection like this because this area has a lot of uh, veins, peripheral, right hepatic vein, and also grisons. And the tumor has to be uh, placed in the plastic bag and removed for, from uh, cerebral pubic uh, incision. And this is a typical left lateral sectionectomy, the procedure itself very much uh, uh, well established. Again, intraoperative ultrasonography is important to identify intrahepatic uh, structures. And this is a tumor located on segment three and two. And all, the, all things that we have to do is to uh, reduce the size of the river parenchyma to apply a stapler finally. 
Ultrasonic coagulator can be used for surface parenchymal transection and bipolar forceps. This is a forehand surgery. So operator uses a bipolar and the ultrasonic coagulator. And as first assistant, he uses a suction and irrigation and also uh, other coagulator. Then the stapler is going to be applied to close the grison of segment three and two. And another stapler is going to be applied to close a segment three, a segment two, and roots of a left hepatic vein. And this is an infer inferior phrenic vein. This is a very much a good landmark to identify the hepatic vein. And you can see all the plate is very much nicely closed. And again, super uh, pubic uh, incision is made to retrieve the tumor. And also this is a typical uh, pure laparoscopic right hepatectomy. Short hepatic vein is closed and clipped and divided. And again, full mobilization of the right side is performed using a ultrasonic coagulator or bipolar forceps, bipolar coagulator. Then we always apply this type of uh, right portal pedicle uh, ligation before start dividing uh, uh, parenchymal transection. This is also a good device to uh, encircle the hepatic helium only to the right side and the ligate, then we see a demarcation line along the country line, then we start uh, parenchymal transection. This is ultrasonic um, suction, it uses a, uh, also a monopolar coagulator by first assistance. The operator uses clip and scissors and ultrasonic dissector. The forehand surgery, this is very important. Then finally, we apply stapler to close uh, vena cava ligament and also the root of the right hepatic vein. Then the right side of the liver is going to be retrieved from, again, a suprapubic uh, incision. All these uh, typical uh, procedure uh, can be done and we reported uh, from 1997 and 2008, we have done 82 totally laparoscopic liver resection we haven't experienced the perioperative deaths. We have only complications by leak and surgical site infection, uh, but we uh, experienced one, co one conversion to lap assisted. So usually four protocol or sometimes one additional protocol is added and any tumor can be resected. I'm gonna show you uh, one case which was converted to a lap assisted way. As I said, uh, this is, uh, okay, this is a bleeding from uh, luteal or hepatic vein. So uh, this was done uh, at the very much early phase of our uh, series, so we decided to make a small incision uh, up by middle line, like seven centimeter, to close it and remove it. This is another case uh, I was asked to uh, assist at the different institute, my younger colleagues start uh, injure again the left hepatic vein like this. But we should have uh, seen the landmark vein, diaphragmatic vein, which can identify the where the root of our left hepatic vein. I told him, but uh, it just happened. <laughs> bleeding, bleeding, bleeding. But this is nice grasp. That's very important. The left hepatic vein and the hole is grasped by the bipolar forceps and is going to be fused, not burned. It's bipolar, so a tissue is going to be fused. It's not burning. <laughs> anyway, it stopped. So we didn't need to convert. So there are three types of way for a laparoscopic liver resection. One is a totally or pure laparoscopic liver resection. Uh, transection is uh, under pneumoperitoneum. The other way is, uh, I'm gonna show you later, laparoscopy assisted way, it's called hybrid laparoscopic liver resection. 
parenchymal transection is uh, not under a uh, pneumon peritoneum because it has a laparotomy close to the liver above domain. And also, hand assisted laparoscopic liver resection, the pneumon peritoneum is uh, yes. And also, the incision is a little bit far away from the liver because you, if you have an incision like this, your hands is very much uh, disturbing while you're performing a parenchymal transection. So, there's the three types of way. But anyway, laparotomy is needed for uh, specimen retrieval for liver surgery because it's a solid organ. So, from the patient's side, it's the difference is only the place for a laparotomy afterwards. This is a very important statement, I guess. So you don't need to um, uh, you know, stick to the pure laparoscopic way. Sometimes you place the hand, or sometimes you make an incision close to the liver to start the liver parenchyma transaction. OK, something wrong again. <laughs> Sorry. This is very much a key slide. All right, anyway, a liver is uh, surrounded by the rib bones. So even for mobilization, you need a very much big incision. But uh, yeah, if we can make a small incision like this, so essential procedure for liver surgery like uh, parenchymal transection and also uh, preparation of hepatic helm and also preparation of uh, uh, Roots of a hepatic veins can be performed through that small incision. So this is called, so, uh, called a hybrid technique. First, laparoscopic mobilization of the liver, then lap-assisted transection of the liver parenchyma. But we need to have this kind of a new uh, forceps which we developed to place the uh, penrose drain between the liver and the uh, vena cava for hanging technique. I'm going to show you this uh, in the next video. So four trackers are placed like this, and patient is uh, uh, semilateral position. Then we start the mobilization. So full mobilization of the right side of the liver is needed to perform a right hepatectomy. After the full mobilization of the right side of the liver, we make a small incision, 10 centimeter, uh, from between to these two uh, trochal sides. Uh, this is the infra inferior phrenic vein. That is a landmark for the place for hepatic vein. Then we place uh, ligation along the right portal pedicle to close it, and place the penrose ring between the cava and the liver to hang up the liver. Then we start um, parenchymal transaction along the country line like this. The operator uses a ultrasonic dissector. The first assistant uses a bipolar forceps, the forehand surgery. The drainage vein from segment five is now closed and divided. And the penetrative drain is the switch over a hepatic heron. Then after opening of the liver parenchyma, we placed the stapler to divide a right portal pedicle. And also, uh, for deeper parenchyma transection, we pull up a penrose ring. Then uh, finally, the anterior face of a vena cava you see, then uh, two staplers that is going to be applied to close short hepatic veins and cable ligament and right hepatic vein. And then finally, we remove the right side of the liver like this. It's a hybrid technique of over open parenchyma transection with laparoscopic mobilization of the right side of the liver. Sometimes this bleeding hap, you know, from vena cava is happening. There. So adrenal gland is adhered very much to a slotic liver. This is again also happen when we uh, at the very much early phase of the, this procedure. Bleeding from the vena cava is very much scary. <laughs> <laughs> but don't panic, eh? just place the gauze and return the liver to place, stop bleeding. Then after you make an incision, after the parenchyma transection, you take out the liver, then you close the liver from the small uh, rapalotomy. So laparoscopic assisted way is very much useful even for bleeding from uh, vena cava. 
But for that procedure, we need to have a, a Penrose drain between Keba and the liver, like this. This is how we place the plain, uh, Penrose drain. And also, again, I'd like to emphasize stapler has to be placed at the last stage after parenchymal transection. Because, you know, sometimes, sometimes uh, left hepatic duct is coming from like this way, so you might have a stricture of the left side uh, intraparenchymal, uh, no, no, left side of duct. So it's better to have a stapler as much as you uh, distal from this central hepatic hearum. So this is again the summary we report. And from year 2002, we started this procedure and for six years period, we experienced 42 <coughs> laparoscopic assisted major lapros uh, liver resection and we have no uh, periodically this, we, our complication is by leak and cytical side infection, so no conversion because it's kind of already converted. There's a learning curve and bleeding reduced after latter half and we experienced uh, even uh, right trisectionectomy or anterior sectionectomy, right posterior sectionectomy. So this is our series, started in 1997. After introduction of a laparoscopic assisted way, the number uh, doubled. And we started the live donor using this laparoscopic assisted way. And uh, the government approved the partially this laparoscopic assisted way only at our institute. So indication is a malignant disease, 148, including uh, hepatocellular carcinoma and carcinode, uh, coronavirus carcinoma, and benign and live donors, 19. So this is a total 183. Uh, 103 is a pure laparoscopic, and uh, 80 is lapar-assisted way, including left hepatectomy, right hepatectomy, and uh, live donor, left lateral, and right hepatectomy. So, um, in conclusion, meticulous transection has to be done in laparoscopic liver section. Stop bleeding before it bleeds. Precise identification of intrahepatic structures also results in uh, less bleeding. Um, Precoagulation technique is very much useful for this uh, meticulous transection. So, parenchymal transection needs four hands. Uh, Operator uses two hands, uh, assistant uses two hands, including a radiofrequency hemostatic devices. Radio RF recoagulation is very much useful to reduce bleeding from the cut surface. So laparoscopic assisted way enables safer major hepatectomy. The stapler application has to be done with very much careful attention, especially it applied for a hepatic hero. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you.